What does it mean to have hormone-positive breast cancer? I wonder if you can take us through um, triple negative breast cancer and HER2 positive breast cancer and how different they are than hormone positive breast cancers. This biopsy will tell us if this lump is cancerous and importantly it also tells us what type of breast cancer this is. Introducing the most common breast cancer subtype hormone positive in this first episode of hormone positive health chat series. More episodes are coming up shortly. Keep tuning in by subscribing to Talk Health Asia's YouTube channel. What does it mean to um, our patient group when they are being told that they have hormone-positive breast cancer? So what does it mean to have hormone-positive breast cancer? So essentially, this means um, we usually diagnose hormone-positive breast cancer through a biopsy. And this biopsy is usually done uh, on the breast lump itself. So this biopsy will tell us if this lump is cancerous. And importantly, it also tells us what type of breast cancer this is. We usually test the breast cancer for three markers called ER, PR, and HER2. Now, generally, if the ER and PR is positive, then it will be considered a hormone-positive breast cancer. And these cancers depend on the female hormone estrogen to drive the cancer. I see. So what about the presentation, I wonder? Um, so does hormone-positive breast cancer present um, differently for uh, our patient group? Yeah, so hormone-positive breast cancers uh, I mean, present like all types of breast cancers, usually presents as a lump, okay? Now, um, what is a little bit different is hormone-positive uh, or most hormone-positive breast cancers uh, generally grow over a longer period of time, although this is not always the case, yeah? So the more... The, the, the other cancers like triple negative and HER2 positive breast cancers, they tend to actually uh, grow faster. So mm. like other breast cancers, hormone positive breast cancers also usually presents uh, as a lump. Other than that, sometimes people can also experience some hardening in the breast or some changes in the nipple as well that will usually prompt uh, the woman to seek uh, help. You know, to go and see a doctor. On here, we can see multiple levels of intensity. Yes. Can you just talk sure, us sure. through in terms of, you know, are all hormone-positive breast cancer fairly um, the same or are they uh, differences or heterogeneous, yeah. uh, heterogeneous group? Yes. So, no, they are not the same, but um, uh, and, and there are some differences. So usually, we look at hormone-positive breast cancer by the usual three markers I mentioned earlier, the ER, PR, and HER2, using a special test called immunohistochemistry, or in short, IHC. So this test is done on the biopsy sample in the lab. Now, these receptors uh, are assessed based on how Firstly, how strongly they stain the chemical. So as you can see there in the first bit there, intensity, you can see 0, 1 plus, 2 plus, and 3 plus. You can see as the numbers go up, it stains more intensely. And secondly, it also we also assess uh, the receptors by the percentage of cells that are stained. So you can see in the second bit here, percentage. And in that lump there, you can see it's it's a combination of different uh, of cells of different intensities. Yeah. Now, um, ER and PR are considered uh, positive. Okay. If when okay, if there are one percent or more of cancer cells that are stained, so cancers are considered hormone positive when they are either ER or PR positive. Now, we also look at how positive they are by using certain scoring systems, you know, like the H score and the ORID scores, as well as descriptions, you know, based on the intensity and the percentage of staining. So here you can see in this uh, mass of cancer cells, 
So this is, is ER 1 to 3 plus 90%. The H score is 240 out of 300, and the all rate score is 8 out of 8. So this just gives us doctors a feel of how hormone positive the breast cancer is. Whereas, you know, for HER2, it is considered positive if there are more than 10% cells are strongly stained. Now, um, with these three markers, we can make up different permutations okay, of hormone positive breast cancer. So it can be ER, PR positive, and HER2 negative. It can be ER positive, PR negative, HER2 negative, uh, ER negative, PR positive, and HER2 negative. These are rare. Okay. Uh, and these are considered uh, hormone positive breast cancers and HER2 negative. Why? Because the, the hormone bit of the breast cancer is the driver of, uh, of how the cancer grows and uh, spreads. So we treat them as hormone-positive breast cancers, and these are the most common type uh, of breast cancers. Now, there is another type you can see at the bottom there. It can be ERPR-positive and HER2-positive, okay, uh, or variations of that. Now, these are hormone-positive HER2-positive breast cancers, but we need to be aware that the main driver of the breast cancer uh, is the HER2. So generally, we would treat the cancer as a HER2 positive breast cancer, but we also add in the anti-hormone treatments for the hormone uh, part of the breast cancer. Mm -hmm. How dependent a hormone positive breast cancer is on estrogen is dependent on how positive they are, as I mentioned earlier. As an example, the case, the, the mass, it was 90% ER positive. Now, that is going to be much more dependent on estrogen, the female hormone, compared to a cancer that is ER 1 plus 5%. So, knowing how positive uh, the ER is, is really important in the treatment of hormone positive breast cancer. Now, in the last couple of decades, okay, research into the genes of hormone-positive breast cancers has also helped us doctors to better understand hormone-positive breast cancers in terms of how aggressive they are. Now, these are, if we look at the genes of the hormone-positive breast cancer, we can kind of divide hormone-positive breast cancers to two types. The first type is luminal A, uh, hormone-positive breast cancers. Now, these are generally less aggressive, okay? And the ER and PR uh, is usually strong, okay? And they're usually of a lower grade, like grade one or grade two. So for those who don't know, grade essentially gives us an idea of how rapidly dividing the cell is. And so is this marker called KI67. So this, this is usually low as well for luminal A type breast cancers. However, to the contrary, luminal B breast cancers, they are more aggressive. The estrogen receptors are generally lower in uh, percentage. The PR can either be low or negative. Uh, and if the hormone-positive breast cancer is HER2 positive, this is usually a luminal B breast cancer. They are generally also of higher grade, grade 3, and uh, a high KI67. Thank you, Dr. Kylie. So, I mean, I suppose the way that we are trying to understand the uh, cancer is by all the different um, expression of ER, PR, and HER2 which then will tell us sort of oncologists in terms of the behavior of the cancer. I wonder if you can take us through um, triple negative breast cancer and HER2 positive breast cancer and how different they are than hormone positive breast cancers. Yeah. So for hormone positive breast cancers, um, we know that they're quite different to HER2 positive and triple negative breast cancers, not only by how they are expressed uh, based on ER, PR, and HER2, mm -hmm. but also by how they behave. Yeah. So in general, we can 
kind of, I mean, we all look at hormone positive breast cancers as less aggressive compared to triple negative and HER2 positive breast cancers that tend to grow faster uh, and, and, and has a higher chance of relapse. Um, but as mentioned earlier, we mustn't forget that there are some types of hormone positive breast cancers like luminal B ones that can be aggressive too. The other thing with the patterns is um, hormone positive breast cancers generally have two peaks of relapses. So it, 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 if, um, if a patient is unfortunate enough to relapse, the risk is highest in the first two to three years, but that risk also remains um, on a higher side even after five years or what we call late relapse. Now, these relapses can unfortunately happen even 10 to 20 years down the track. Now, this is different from triple negative and HER2 positive breast cancers that tend to relapse in the first three years and then it tapers off and relapses after five years is generally quite uncommon. I see. Okay. So, I mean, I think there are a few questions from our audience at the moment, mainly sort of asking about um, HER2 positive um, or maybe HER2 equivocal. And then on the FISH test, it comes up as HER2 uh, negative. Then the question is, does that mean that they only have ER positive breast cancer? Dr. Kylie? So you can see here on this slide, if you look at that, um, for HER2 positive is generally 3 plus more than 10%. Or if the, if the ISH, which is generally a test uh, for the genes uh, of HER2 is positive. Now, for someone who is HER2 that is 2 plus, which is what we call equivocal, that means that we are uncertain whether the HER2 drives the cancer or not, we generally do a second HER2 uh, HER test called an ISH. Now, if this is negative, then we can consider this cancer HER2 negative, and this cancer is mainly driven by the ER and PR. So they are considered hormone positive and HER2 negative. I would like to introduce to you TalkHealthAsia.com, which is a website full of medical information um, where you can get YouTube videos to understand um, health issues. So not just cancer related. It's uh, targeted for patients as well as caregivers. And they're really in a format which is easy to understand for our local population. Every patient is unique. You can't lump them all as one type of treatment. If our patient opts for breast reconstruction, does that increase the chance of breast cancer recurrence? Subscribe to Talk Health Asia's YouTube channel for more health chats episodes or find easy to understand health videos on talkhealthasia.com.